will have some more to tell you. It's gonna take a while, it's two hours worth of testing. You know, it's pretty brain racking. All right, so we are at the Air Force Recruiting Center where Vanessa Selena Wesley is taking her ass back. I know she's gonna do great. I know she's got this. I think she's a little bit worried, but I don't know. She's got this, it's in the bag. So hopefully she'll be out here soon and we'll have some more to tell you. It's gonna take a while, it's two hours worth of testing. You know, it's pretty brain racking. But um, we'll see how it goes. So I guess we'll be back with you guys. Hey guys, we are back at home. I actually didn't know that Rob was filming in the car and I'm kind of glad that he got that clip as he was waiting for two hours on me to finish the test. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I know he said earlier that I was stressing out and I was because I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult, but it was actually super simple. In this video, I'm going to share my experience taking the ASVAB, how I studied, and that I passed. So please like, comment, and subscribe. We will be doing a lot more videos like this in the future, so make sure to hit that bell so you guys don't miss my next upload. All right, let's head into my room and finish up this video. I use the ASVAB for Dummies book 2019-2020, and it was really helpful. I will be leaving a link down below so you guys can order you one from Amazon. These markers right here are marking the pages that I actually studied in this book. So let me show you this way. Not very many pages. All of this back here I did not study. This was all science, mechanics, and electronics, and I just do not want to study that because you want to focus on your top four. Your top four that you want to study are word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, math knowledge, and arithmetic reasoning. So I basically only studied the very beginning of this book, and that was it. It took me about a week. Now I'm going to share my experience with taking the ASVAB PiCat. So I made a little note of what I wanted to talk about today. In the PiCat test, there are nine subjects total, general science, math knowledge, arithmetic reasoning, paragraph comprehension, word knowledge, electrical, shop, mechanics, assembling. Those are the nine subjects that are going to be on that test. For number one, general science, there were questions about the regular earth science. Uh, there was a galaxy question. There was questions about atoms, like how many atoms are in H2O. So questions like that. There's only 15 or 20 questions for every subject. The next category was math knowledge, and this was basically word problems. So just using common sense and really slowing down and understanding the question is helpful. And I know I passed a lot of the math knowledge. The third category is arithmetic reasoning. Those were regular math problems, just like word problems, uh, division problems, things like that. There were no geometry, which I actually studied a lot on. I was studying uh, surface area, volume, uh, volume of a cylinder. I was really studying that really hard, and then there was no questions on it. So that was just for my experience. Um, I'm just sharing my experience. Please study those still because your test may be different. Um, I also did four algebra problems, and I'm pretty sure I failed all four algebra problems, even though I studied really well on those. I did not pass, I know I did not pass those algebra problems because when I sat down for the test, I was like, my brain was not thinking <laughs> for the algebra problems, but there were about four problems that I kind of tried to narrow it down to what could, the answers could possibly be. To try to cancel out the answers that you know for sure cannot be the right answer and then pick between the last two um, what you think could most likely be it. So the next thing I wanted to tell you guys is to memorize certain formulas. So for surface area volume I was memorizing the formula and then another one was memorizing PEMDAS which I had to refresh my memory because I am 28 and I went to high school years ago so all of that wasn't fresh in my memory so memorize PEMDAS uh, so how I did it was PEMDAS is please excuse my dear aunt Sally and just try to solve your algebra problems using PEMDAS and that's what I tried on those problems 
those four algebra problems to memorize. So PEMDAS. Also, just pay attention to questions and try to use common sense on most of them because the question might seem really difficult but could be a really simple answer. Okay, so next category was paragraph comprehension. So what I did was read the question, then I went and read the paragraph, and then read the question again and answered. And when I came to the question, I canceled out answers that could not be even possible to be the answer. These are all multiple choice questions, so it's easy to cancel out the ones that could most likely not be the answer and then answer with the most possible. Next section was word knowledge. This was vocabulary, so make sure to study your prefixes and your suffixes. So those are super important because if you know your root word, you can kind of divide the word up and find out what the prefix means and what the suffix means and then understand it better. So if you know your suffixes and prefixes, that will help you a lot with your word knowledge. Okay, so I wanted to also tell you guys about the app called, it is just the website. So look up the website vocab.com and I used this website to study a lot of words, prefixes, suffixes, and root words with this website. Um, they have little games and you can win coins for getting words right. They explain the definition of words. And so it's a really good website to check out. So check out vocab.com. I'll also put that in the description and also on the screen somewhere right here. So this is section number six. Electrical is knowledge of currents and things electrical. Um, again, I did not study that in my book because I wanted to focus on the four main categories uh, or the four main subjects. So for electrical, it was mainly knowledge of currents. Um, I didn't really study the subject at all. I did do well in it, but the questions were kind of answered from common sense. So there's a lot that is just, just from common sense on the electrical part. So um, that wasn't that difficult. The next subject was on shop, and this was testing your knowledge of tools and their uses. Um, so there was like a picture of a hacksaw, and then um, you had to choose which tool that was. You had to identify what the tool was. Pretty simple for me because I was a welder and um, I worked in a shop, so I knew a lot of tools and what they were used for. So that was pretty simple for me in the shop category. So the next subject was mechanics. This is testing your knowledge of vehicle parts and some on where those parts are located on the vehicle. So like the brakes or um, the car engine, like parts in the car, car engine and things like that. I also did not study for this. I knew a lot from working in the shop um, when I was a welder at Matulsa. So that was pretty simple for me. The next subject was assembling, the final subject, and it was for solving puzzles, basically. So you had to fit pieces together. They give you some pieces um, on the diagram and you had to you know, fit them into the shape that it should be, or they'll give you like a diagram of what the shape should look like, and then they give you pieces and you have to move them around to make the shape of the object, if that makes sense. So. That was basically just puzzles. It was kind of fun and it wasn't difficult at all. Pretty sure I got all of them correct. So guys, that was our ninth subject that I went over. I hope this was really helpful for you guys. I finished this test in two hours and 10 minutes exactly. The pie cat was not as difficult as I thought it was gonna be and it wasn't as stressful. Also, it was super quick. I felt like I was in there for maybe an hour, but it was two hours and 10 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have a lot more videos like this coming up. So if you guys want more videos like this, please subscribe, hit the bell so you guys don't miss my next upload. I will probably put some other family videos in between these and then gradually upload more about the Air Force. I'll be doing one on MEPS. I'll do one on basic training, um, BMT for every week at BMT and also my packing list. So you guys, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.